In this video, we have a plugin that can finally control media in OBS, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I had someone tag me on a post on our For Me Media group. They said, AJ, we have... Um, media controls for OBS. Now that's one of the biggest things that I had a problem with OBS is if you're playing a video, there's no way to control the video. That is until now. So I'm really excited about this. So let's go ahead and switch over to the computer so we can check this out. All right, so here are the media tools, um, media control tools that are version 0.2.0 came out on July, well actually it was last updated July 16th, so about seven days ago. Um, and this Exceldro, Exceldro or whoever um, is the person who made this, so thank you very much for making this. Um, let's see how simple this is. So it's working for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And after it's installed, pretty much you just have a media controls. So let's go ahead and install it. And actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. I already downloaded it. So let's see what's inside of this. So you have a folder here. And inside of this, you have um, a data OBS plugins. It's kind of goes pretty deep down there. So there's um, an INI file, and then you have a DLL file. Pretty simple. So the way it works, depending on where you have your OBS installed, you're gonna come over here, Program Files, and I'll have a link in the description for the exact path. OBS Studio, then you have your stuff right here. So let me extract this first here to the desktop. All right, so we got it fully extracted. And or let's look. So we got data, OBS plugins. And all we gotta do is go ahead and paste that in there. Yes. And then we're gonna back up, go to OBS plugins. OBS plugins, 64 bit, 64 bit. And then copy these two files. Hey, yes. Continue. I guess I should have checked it for both. All right, that's it. So based off of that, we should get to um, a media controller there. So let's open up OBS. All right, so I am linked into my into my A10 Mini, so let's turn that off. So first, let's do this. Let's add a media source here. And let's put it on a loop. And what can I find? You know, play some drone footage, how about that? All right, from church, let's go ahead and resize this. Fit the screen. All right, boom. So it says if you go up here to view, Docs and there's our media controls. And what we want to do is put it somewhere easy. I don't want it to be that big. And supposedly for each media source that you have, it will actually give you control. So here, oh, we can pause it and we can play it. Let's go to the end. I guess that must be doing it wrong but we can stop it, play it, rewind it. Okay, pretty straightforward. So let's add another media source here and see what we get. Media source two and 
Let's do this epic church video that I did. With the scenic fog and all this other stuff. All right, so as you can see, we have a second control for Media Source 2, so we can pause that, pause the other one, play. I am I'm I am very impressed with this. So thank you for the person who um, recommended this to me. Let me find their name here. All right, this is, and again, my apologies if I pronounce your name wrong, but it is Prasanna Kumar Nimala Pudi. Nimala Pudi, Prasanna Kumar. So my apologies if I pronounce your name wrong, but he is the one who recommended this. So if I bring this over here, well, if I bring this over here, so this is, this is him right there. And he shouted out this and talking about for me to look into this. So thank you so much for letting me know about that. I really appreciate that. And we get awesome, great stuff like that from the For Me Media Group, because again, I don't know everything, and we're a community working together so we can actually learn more about media ministry, and that is an awesome tool, and I've already got it installed on my other system here, um, and I will be using that. That's great that I can put that on the church one, so our countdown timer, if we started it by on the wrong time, we can actually rewind that. All right, now one thing I didn't mention with this, it actually lets you scrub through here. So it's not just not a bar, um, a progress bar. You actually can skip through here and it shows you the duration of your video. So like here, normally with my countdown timer here at church, we actually go for 15 minutes if it, when it ends, let me see if I can get it close to the end as possible. When this video ends, it just shuts down and then it goes to this. But we could easily come back in here and restart it um, or just drag it to where it needs to be if we started this early. So um, that's really cool. Really like that. And as you can see, I already I installed it on my local system, but then I went and logged in and <laughs> installed it on the church's live streaming system and then all the other um, church computers that I have access to that have this. I will install that. So not really having any problem with it so far. Really liking that. So that's really cool. So link is in the description to get that um, like it works on Windows, Mac and Linux and works very well for it being a 0.2.0 version. Um, so check it out. Um, thank y'all so much. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And thank you patrons for helping us make this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. They have decided to contribute to this channel to help us reach more people and train more people and if you want to become a patron you can do so for as little as a dollar a month link is in the description patreon.com aj the ceo thank you so much for watching folks hope that helps you and we will see you on the next video later